Hello guys, what is going on? Kaman here and welcome to my 6th episode of my Road to 100 mil series. So let's get started with this. So we're at the G and first of all, well we've got some coins under us. So let's pick it up because uh, every penny counts I get, I guess, 87, what is this? What? Guys, we, we've reached 100 mil. Well, uh... <laughs> I guess that concludes this series, so guys, the best money maker, I think that was 84 mil per second, is picking up coins. Yeah. Yeah. Okay guys, so welcome to the actual beginning of the episode, I hope you enjoyed that short clip, it was just a short idea, we had that we could do to start the episode off in a uh, semi-funny way I guess so as you can see on screen now what we actually decided to do was to go Bandos so I went with Zen and another clan mate and they were meleeing as for me I went with um, I went with Mystics and Earth Earth Barrage and it was meant to be strong but I didn't really notice any difference so I went with the standard setup. You can see that I had some extreme defense and extreme magic potions. I made them myself using the ingredients. And yeah, so we just killed Bandos for a good, I think we were there for about three hours. And unfortunately, as you can see on screen now, we didn't really get anything that good. We only got a GS shard too. So that's why I'm starting the episode off with this because uh, yeah we didn't really get anything and later on in the episode not in the episode in the trip uh, Zen actually died as a troll he didn't actually die on purpose but he died because we were messing about and I told him die I didn't mean it literally but he decided to die yeah and then while we were waiting for him uh, to come back we decided to go out of the room and I uh, I may or may not have banked my cap my bandos I think it's mitra or something like that so the monsters may or may not have started to attack me and I may or may not have tellied so yeah I regeared and this time I brought polyport instead and that sums up the whole trip. We didn't really get that much loot. And yeah, it was a dry trip. Okay guys, so welcome to my first clip after after the God Wars clips. So, uh, this inventory, you can see, uh, this is exactly what I have. The money after the Bandos God Wars trip. Now, you guys might be thinking, I lost all my, all my money, did I go gamble it? Nope. No gambling allowed on the series, but I did something that uh, I think has paid off. So after the Bandos trip, I figured that I would want to buy some non-degradable armor for bossing and maybe a bit of Slayer, and I decided to go with Bandos. And at the time, it was crashing, so I managed to buy it several mil cheaper than it actually was worth. And now, after the Og blog was released, it is soaring. And I am really lucky. So here you can see the loot I got from Bandos. So I haven't actually sold that yet. I'll sell that in the final loot tab. But here is my main uh, my main armor and stuff. So here you can see I only managed to actually buy one day's worth of, uh, of daily money making runs. And that's because I bought these guys. So now after, after the update I was told that the pr street price of this is 16 to 17 mil so that that's instantly a massive profit that we've, we've made and I'm not sure about Bandos tacits so guys I'll be right back after selling both of these okay guys so here you can see me selling my uh, Bandos or attempting to sell it I do sell it and I managed to sell it for 24 mil for the whole set and you may be wondering why I have the Sarodomin's Hiss and that's because I actually took it to the God Wars trip but I forgot to mention that so yeah that's why I have that there and uh, I managed to sell it so high because I sold this one day after the Og blog was released 
and people were panic buying and panic selling so that's another great way to make money after an update is released that affects people's armor like ma major armor like bandos they really tend to panic uh, buy and sell and you can really take advantage of it if you know because here uh, I knew that bandos was never gonna go up to 24 mil because it is killed way too often and uh, yeah I managed to sell the hiss later on for mid in GE well slightly higher than mid okay guys so you just saw the clip of me selling the bandos bandos whatever you call it for 24 mil so I think that's about a almost uh, almost 10 mil profit I made there and that's through solely flipping now I was extremely lucky uh, doing this if I didn't do this I would have just continued bossing until I had done this and I've still got this Sarodomin's hiss that I need to sell now uh, Sara GWD is being updated as well so I expect this to rise or to be rising as well so let's put this in maybe at uh, plus 5 and insta sell wow it's to sell at plus five now that's crazy so let's see how much our cash pile is at the moment so our cash pile is 25.082.524 okay guys so we have made a ton and this series has just started now I was extremely lucky and there's nothing else really I can say I wanted to buy bandos for the series so I can go bossing uh, and everything but it turned out to be something very positive so all I can say really is uh, trust your instincts I guess and yeah I'll see you guys in the next clip oh and just a quick thing that I just remembered I just noticed that I actually have one of the logs for the bandos in my in my history so here is proof that I actually managed to buy this uh, bandos before the update and not after the update and I actually did it with the road to 100 mil money uh, and there it is guys so yeah that's just more proof in case anyone was doubting so guys welcome to another part of my uh, of my road to 100 mil episode 6 so for this part of the episode I am going to do something that I've seen a few other youtubers do and a friend of mine as well and that is the QBD so before the EOC I was actually quite bad at this even though I hadn't actually done the quest song from the uh, deep or depths song from the depths I think and uh, recently I've learned that that actually gives a damage redu reduction bonus so as well as testing out the QBD in the EOC I'm going to try and make money off it something that I said that I would never even try to do pre EOC and uh, let's see how that turns out so guys I'm going to start buying the gear needed here's, the, here's my money uh, from the uh, from the ending of the last clip and uh, I'll be right back after I've geared and everything okay guys so here you can see how much I've spent I've spent about seven mil is it and I've uh, you might be wondering where I spent it but the bulk of it as you can see is in here so as well as that I spent it on an archer's ring and that really explains that's two mil and that was about five mil so a lot of people may not know but the royal crossbow can be compared to the zarite bow and it's way cheaper but the downside is that you have to use ammo obviously but it's I'm not sure if it's degradable or not but anyway it's really good and I could afford it so why not and as for the rest of the invent I made super antifires flask them and uh, yeah prayer renewal standard QBD setup even though maybe if sharks aren't working I'll go with rock tails and I have a steel titan pouch so yeah for the first for the first kill that is I uh, I'll be using the rune crossbow until I forge my royal crossbow because uh, I haven't I've only just done the quest so I can only just use it and yeah until then I'll be using the diamond bolts E and hope to get good kills I'll need to sort out my my uh, taskbar my thingy my ability bar damn it and uh, yeah I'll do that and uh, I'll see you guys in the overview and welcome to the overview guys so I actually did QBD for what I think is about three hours or maybe four hours and uh, I actually got many kills I'm surprised to say this because pre EOC I was terrible 
but the royal crossbow is really strong and on screen now you can see some of the loot which I get. I actually get some decent loot and I'll be doing the usual mass loot selling right at the end in which I will be selling the Bandos and the QBD loot all together to see the total loot. And uh, I switched, you can see on screen that I switched from the Steel Titan setup because I'm a noob at QBD even though it's a lot easier in the EOC and uh, I decided that I'd prefer doing two, two kills per trip using the sharks and the yak and uh, yeah I uh, that's all I really have to say about it rune crossbow is awesome not rune crossbow rune crossbow is bad uh, royal crossbow is awesome and I highly recommend it to anyone that goes to well rangers and the good thing about using it with the QBD is that with the royal bolts the QBD actually drops them with every drop so you actually end up gaining royal bolts instead of losing so that is a huge winner and I'll, uh, I'll let you guys continue on to the section that you have probably been waiting for the mass loot selling section okay guys so I've just finished doing 24 QBD kills you've already seen the uh, overview as I've uh, as I've said and I'm going to now sell the loot from all of the bandos and the QBD trip so let's open this and here is the tab so you already see that I have 19 mil and that's because QBD as you maybe saw in some of the clips actually drops uh, it drops coins and I've just realized that I have a lot of loot to sell so here I'll just show you guys the loot this is my dailies I haven't really bought any more I probably should do that I'll probably begin doing that and the rest are loot from Bandos and QBD so the main big things from QBD are they, these two things and yeah I'll be selling all of these including the seaweed and the dailies basically and I'll be right back okay guys so here you can see the total loot that I got from Bandos and QBD and uh, yeah I'll just add this to the pouch and here you can see 26 mil so we made 6.8 mil let me just put this private off just before Zen says anything and uh, yeah so that's 26 mil at the beginning of the episode we were at 13 mil and that doesn't include this archer's ring oh yeah I forgot about these Wow, I actually brought 1k, I bought 1k of these and it turns out that I keep kept getting some from the QBD so if I'm going to need some more, do some more QBD that's all, really, that's all that I'm really going to use and this should be another boost to our profits because with the QBD it keeps giving you royal bolts and you actually make a lot more than you use especially with the, I'm not sure if the Avas accumulator works with it actually but yeah so let's sell these and eventually they'll sell I think I might actually keep my archer's ring and this cost 4 mil so let's see does this come into the price check Six. yes it comes into the price check so let's withdraw all our money so, to see how much of a profit we've made this episode so came in with 13 mil we're now on 32.5 mil so we've made almost 20 mil in this episode it should be 20 mil with this in before my calculations are terrible and yeah let's withdraw all of this and there 33 mil so that is a lot of monies of cash and uh, that's a lot of progress so what I'm going to be thinking what I'm thinking about doing next episode is well before this time before now and the next episode is merching some because on Tuesday there will be a new update the Calfight King update and I plan to take advantage of that to make money because if you guys think about it it's the newest hardest boss and people are going to to be flocking to it and it'll need a lot of food so what I'm going to be thinking what I'm thinking not going to be thinking what I am thinking of doing is buying various supplies needed for the QBK I've been doing QBD way too much and that way I might 
be able to make a good profit because updates are taking advantage of updates that is are great for making profits so yeah I'll be investing this into various things and I hope you guys enjoyed this video we made a lot and I'll see you guys in the next episode bye